Thank you. Okay, gentlemen, we went over the rules in the dressing room. This is not a title fight, 10 rounds. You're both good professional fighters. We come out boxing at the belt. Touch him up, please. In the case of Lennox, it was a major change because he had to fight a guy who was much taller and he was not used to that. But if you watched Marquez's little brother Rafael knock out Timmy Austin earlier this year to take over the Bantamweight division, you saw his hard right hand and he won 40 of them, losing only a questionable decision loss to Freddie Norwood in a truly horrid fight in Las Vegas back in 1999. It was opposition. That's true, and this guy's been very consistent in all. Most all of the great champions is coming from Mexico in the last 10, 15 years have pretty much come from his stable down there. Hard uppercut thrown with the left hand by Marquez, well placed. He claimed he had been in training for a fight a little bit down the road, but. Golden Boy Promotions to send him into this fight. The Kona is doing a little bit more boxing or trying to box here than advertised. At this stage. It's typical most of the Mexicans, they are pretty much. Compu box numbers in round one. Marquez 14 out of 48. Great combination by Marquez. He's placing his punches very well. In particular, starting off with his left hook to the body often. Marquez is routinely paid at night. They never came. Well, that's part of a learning experience. Over in his career, he wouldn't be quite so patient against Freddie Norwood. As a champion is. Placing his punches, pretty good defense. <laughs> a way in to put on weight. As you said, so it would be certified. It's going to be hard to knock Lacona around in there. Lacona enjoying what appears to be a weight advantage. But Boxes. Marquez lands a right hand over the top and a solid left hook. In each pocket. <laughs> to get him up to 132 after he'd originally t stepped on the scale at 27, right? <laughs> Lacona trying to go to the right hand with the body, and Marquez counting upstairs with the left hand. Lacona's meeting him punch and punch at this stage. Hard right hand down the middle by Marquez. There's any real dominance at this point. The fight is still pretty much going nip and tuck. Marquez, but he haven't really dominated. Marquez risking a big right hand over the top. Lacona tried to come back to the body. And yep. that seems to have slowed the pace of Juan Manuel Marquez, although. He's raging bull. No raging bull tonight yet. Cheery little movie, that raging bull. He being Lacona. Yes. Yeah. With a good counter left hand upstairs. Now he faints upstairs and goes to the body with the left hook again. They, they exchange the left hooks to the body so much. One year that they're used to those body shots. A uh, double left hook to the body and then they're in the center of the ring. And the most effective punch in the entire fight has been the left hook to the body. Mark. And a right hand by Marquez. Marquez doubling and tripling the punch out put of Lacona. With 142 pounds entering the ring tonight. And for Marquez, this might be a little bit like hitting the heavy bag. Oh, yeah, it's punch up. At least he's getting Or originally scheduled opponent, Derek Gaynor. This is California followed with the red duct tape. Lacana is kind of comfortable getting into his rhythm, where it seems as looking and feeling seem a little bit more comfortable with the whole situation now. Marquez, three jabs in a row, followed by the right hand. Punches with authority. Whereas Marquez is equally as sharp and as crisp as he was in the first few rounds. Ah. So that was one block a punch with his left elbow and then throw a punch with the team to even think to keep up with the different things that he's doing. It would be so Marquez face off with Marco Antonio Barrero because they yeah. both have so much game. My favorites. Tremendously skilled. <laughs> Lacona is averaging 44 punches thrown per round, but landing fewer than 20% of them. Marquez averaging 52 punches thrown per round. Brothers, both Rafael and Juan, and they're both very... 
it's never by plan. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Zaragoza couldn't have knocked people out with a shovel, but but still one. <laughs> <and> it's one <laughs> thing when you're training a fighter like Zaragoza who isn't going to knock anybody out. You know. decision nowadays. Have to be too brave for his own good. Larry, for entertainment value. Oh, it's obvious that uh, he is not in for this fight. Between rounds, we'll get a look at a 140-pound prospect who from the Bronx, who's arousing some attention in the sport. The 140-pound weight class, overwhelmingly rich with talent. Well, he's on his way. I think the way he's looking now, he's going to be headed for some big super fights with the guys like Leroy. His camp turned down an opportunity to fight. He's waited a long time. That lost him. Fortunately, sometimes, and this is the difference maybe between... He, 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 he don't the often... Mendes two left hooks. Morales is that he can fight like an accountant. You know... And another great left hook. Yes. And a right hand and a right hand. I wonder if Lacona... If he didn't weigh 142 of that stuff. Personally, I would say no. So Lacana doesn't know what to prepare for. This round, earlier he was landing with a lot of right hands on the top and left hooks to the body. And now Marquez doubling and tripling on that solid jab. Girl. the one he expected. He's well on his way to an easy. Juan Manuel Marquez has made the adjustment to victory, winning every round, landing more punches, delivering combinations more or less at will in a brilliant offensive show so far against Marcus Licona. We mentioned Marco Antonio Barrera. Those are Barrera type numbers. Harold Letterman, how do you have it through six? Effective person of this, getting off first and landing great combinations. Who scored the ninth round of the first Gaddy Ward fight, 10-7 for Mickey Ward, and ultimately that made Ward the winner in the fight, but Lacona pounding with a left hook. Body. Lacona still giving a spirited effort. That's fighting. So Lacona says he was born to be a fighter. Couldn't right back with something. See there? have imagined any other career. Although he's thinking that he might want to buy the boat cleaning business he's been... as though he would have liked to have mustered a smile, but couldn't quite do so. Total in round seven, well, power shots. And Lacona, 10 out of 42. And one of the greatest, I think, most talented fighters in the world today and fighting a very credible fight. Full foil for showing how dazzling Juan Manuel Marquez's yes. offense can be when he gets it going. Great, great. Assuming he doesn't get caught with anything big from Lacona, it's gonna be great work for him. We're in this infancy, going into the final rounds of the fight. You know, his body looks stronger than that of Marco Antonio Barrera. Never one of those, what you say, cut guys, but physically one of the strongest heavyweights of modern times. Morales has not been that consistent in recent fights. He looked good in some fights and looked ordinary in other fights. Marquez and Barrera have been very consistent for the most part in all of their fights the last few years. Well, and therefore, it's a difference. Well, but Morales gets up for the big occasion. Great uppercut. Down goes Lacona on a brilliantly thrown uppercut oh, by Marquez. Yeah. Yeah. He Seven. never even saw. Can't throw that punch out of that. And he says that that's, that would be the first time he's took a uh, right uppercut that you saw. He still would present some problems to Marquez. Early in his career, we wouldn't have thought Derek Gaynor would have the punching power to bother anybody. Prove and improve and improve where he's sitting and becoming stagnant. 
very busy fight in the last few years. Fighting top competition. Consecutive knockout and 11th in his last 12 fights. Left hook, then left uppercut. But left uppercut, then left hook isn't as easy. I have saw some of the most unusual executed combinations coming from Barrera and now with Marquez. They do unbelievable things. And it's because their balance is so good perfect that balance. they with their hands. All the time in perfect balance. Coming back with the return shots as fast as it was before earlier. Marquez would finish up. Now he's not able to do that. See, earlier he would always come back with combinations after. Lacona punching from the back seat now as. I agree with you, Larry. Hard oh, right hand. Right, right hand. And Rock Lacona opened a cut under his left eye. Be interesting to see if Lacona can make it through the tenth. It, 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 it may be that his corner is using that cut as an excuse yeah. to stop the fight. Stop the fight. No mas. No mas. No mas. You heard. So the fight will be stopped, and the knockout streak continues for Juan Manuel Marquez. A tenth consecutive KO for Marquez in what I saw, guys, as a pretty outstanding offensive performance. Great performance. Here, Marquez lands a couple of lefts and a little bit of a right. Good left hook. He appears to be a little bit. You see here how Marquez is landing clean blows. Good fighters don't get hit with those kind. Here's a look. All right. Uh, right uppercut that you saw. He lunged just a little bit with that right hand, left his chin hanging up. Lacan is doing the best he can. He's trying to compete. He is simply out. Case. Let's go to Michael Buffer for the official particulars on the KO. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Richard Flaherty, acting on the advice of the physicians assigned at ringside, calls a halt to the contest. The official time at the end of the ninth round. Marcos Licona unable to continue the winner by TKO victory, Juan Manuel Marquez.